All right, you guys. Hey, this is John Uncle. I'm going to do a, this is going to be very, very quick because actually I have to go. Uh, me and my wife got a date and we're heading out the door. So I'm not going to go through the chart breakdowns, but I am going to give you very, very, very important news that you need to watch, uh, pay attention to for before you start trading this week. I think it's going to have some, uh, a little bit of tumultuousness in it. So let's look at it pretty quickly. Uh, before I do that, let's go over to a couple of things. Uh, number one, uh, this is the, and let me move my head out the way. This is our uh, monthly report for those who uh, be asking about, hey, what's your trade results? And you can see uh, if you go to our website, supereasyforex.com, and I'm going to show you how to get there. But basically, this shows you everything we've been doing in the signals group and the live trade sessions with the indices and the copycat. Okay, so this basically will tell you everything you need to know from January 1st all the way up until last week. And let's go to last week. As you can see, there was in the signals group, there was five one winning trades, two losses, and no break-evens. In the live trade sessions with Miss Jenny, uh, there's we've done uh, 16,333 pips on the indices. And with the copycat group, we did uh, we squeaked out 123 pips on that one. A little tumultuous last week, but we was able to squeak out 123 um pips um so therefore um you know we're, we're on a roll so we're still doing great right there all right and if you add up uh between last week we had 751 pips plus 123 that puts us uh close to 800 900 pips in two weeks okay so anyway let's keep it moving now let's get to what we're here for we're here for news events so this coming week up here, we got the pound coming out. And here's the deal. The pound is going to be coming out quite often this week. So if there was one pair to be careful of, and there's more news than this, it's just that some of them wasn't that important. Uh, but if you check my FX book and click on economic calendar, you'll see that uh, they have a ton of news coming out this week for the pound uh, almost every day. See, retail sales numbers. Um, this is the U.S. dollar, and I'm going to cover this. This is going to be critically important, okay? So make sure to pay attention to that. Um, see, Pound is coming out with more news. That's Thursday. Um, and let's see here. Uh, oh, this is going to be huge. I'll talk to you guys about that momentarily. Uh, let's see. See, Pound is coming out with plenty of news. That's all week long, and this is the main one we're going to talk about for them. So basically, you get the gist. You can check the rest of it on my FX book, Economic Calendar, and you can see there. All right, so uh, so unemployment numbers Tuesday, uh, be careful. May cause a little spike in for the pound, uh, the GBP, the Great British Pound. The U.S. is coming out with PPI numbers. Not that big of a deal to me. It may cause some spiking, but whatever. Uh, this is going to be important right here, and I should switch that one to red. This is going to be critically important. Uh, interest rates is going to be announced. Matter of fact, all these important ones, let me put them in red for you guys. So interest rates, but it's hard to see them. That's why I put it in yellow. All right, let me switch these back to yellow. All right, so interest rates for the New Zealand is coming out. So that's going to be very, very important. Please do not trade during that time. Don't trade the New Zealand dollar and be careful of the AUD because they are sometimes connected. So be very careful on Tuesday trading this. Okay, the pound is coming out with inflation numbers on Wednesday. So that's important. You got the U.S. dollar coming out with their inflation numbers. Now we're in presidential election time. So guess what? Um, what happened was the market crashed very, very hard uh, off the last jobs report, which by the way is coming out right here. So normally these job reports, they're okay. But what happened is, uh, according to what I'm hearing, the reason why this is important, the jobless claims and inflation numbers during this presidential election, uh, is because this is helping to have shaped people thinking on who's the next president. But in addition to that, they're seeing slowdown in the job market. And when you see slowdown in the job market, that signals signs of recession, according to what they're telling me. You know, so therefore, excuse me, you guys. So therefore, inflation numbers and, and recession, jobless claims, which in, indicate whether jobs are growing or slowing, all of this if data is saying, hey, we're having a problem with this with, with in the markets. You know, the, the, we're, we may be hitting recession. So that's the reason why we had that flash crash on Monday. So this week, I know inflation numbers and jobless claims are going to be very, very important. OK, again, as I told you guys in class, this is kind of like your president's report card. OK. 
You want to you want to vote for somebody? Don't vote for them because you just like them. Vote because you like their homework. They're doing their homework. They're coming to class and doing their job. And here's how you can tell: is your inflation is your inflation getting better or worse? Because if your inflation numbers are getting high, and you keep voting for a person who keeps helping to inflate your prices, meaning your gas, your oil, uh, your car uh, loans, interest for home loans, your rent went up and everything else, and you keep voting for these people, then you get what you deserve. See, I don't get all emotional over, oh, well, I don't like the way this person looks. I don't like the way they talk. No, let me look at your homework assignment because at the end of the day, whether I like you or not, the point is, is that you are choices or consequence to me and my family. So if I have to start paying more money because of your decisions, then I can like you, but we just not going to be able to work together. You understand what I'm saying? And this is the foolishness that I'm seeing with people. They're all up in arms and emotional, and they're not looking at the presidential's report card. And I don't care whether it's a Republican or a Democrat. Make, make this make sense to me. If jobs are being lost, and inflation is crushing the little money you are making, why do you keep voting for the same people? Somebody explain that to me. And we can talk about that during Wednesday's class. That makes no sense to me. I will never hire somebody who's doing harm to my company. Just think if you're a business owner and you constantly keep hiring people who do your, your business wrong, okay? They're harming your business. Would you keep them as employees or would you hire more of the same? And this is what you guys are doing when you're voting. Oh, I'm, I just don't like this person. Okay, but you want to hire somebody who's wrecking, wreaking havoc on your financial world at your house. It's better that you don't vote at all. Just don't vote. But don't keep putting people in office that's causing me problems. That's why I feel about it. If you're going to feel that way, don't vote. Because you, whoever y'all voting to put in office, they're costing me more money. Because I sure ain't going to hire nobody who keeps increasing my prices, gas and double and everything else. And again, I'm not a Republican or a Democrat. I am a person who wants to hire somebody that's going to help my family. So that's the reason why this jobless claims is going to be a good report card and the inflation. Okay, now, AUD is coming up with unemployment numbers on Wednesday. May cause a little bit of spiking, but not that big of a deal. Growth rate uh, may cause a little spiking, but not that big of a deal. Okay, so anyway, uh, last but not least, one more thing. We are still doing the pilot test. We're testing, keep that in mind, we're pilot testing the indice copy trader as well, because if everything goes smooth, we'll release it uh, to the general public. And, uh, you know, so I posted up a video last week uh, on my last 30 trade results, okay, which is what I did. I just took a snapshot of the last 30 of them. Um, and so far, you know, it was pretty good. A lot of people who are in the pilot group, um, uh, they took a snapshot of their last 30 and they saying that, Hey, things were, are really, really looking nice in the beginning. In the first couple of days, because of the flash crash of the market, the, the, the test was jittery. Then after that, once the market stabilized, it just sailed off perfectly. And, uh, as you guys saw in my live video, um, I had 26 wins and four losses. So again, we're going to, this is a fresh week. We're just going to start fresh. And we are going to see how this works. And if everything goes well, then we'll release it to the general public, and, um, you know, and go from there. OK, so that's all the updates for today. Again, I'm not going to do chart breakdowns because I got a date with Nancy and um, I don't miss my dates. I enjoy her company. And so uh, I'm going to go hang out with her and you guys just go chill and have a great weekend. And I will talk to you on Wednesday's class.